Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and retirement with having. Sometimes people like to give people those Dear John letters. Thanks, but no thanks. Or, you know, I just extended your friendship and you took it elsewhere. And the truth is, that is not true. When you spend time with someone all the time alone, when there is a cross-cultural issue, when there is a bi-gendered issue, what I mean is that one person is male, the other person is female, there is always the opportunity for there to be an opportunity for other things in that relationship. You see, people don't think about that. I usually don't think about that because I do my best to behave with propriety. I do my best to not ogle at women. I do my best that when I'm in a professional situation that I don't flirt unless I'm getting a little flirtation just for the fun of it, just for the flavor of it, just for the relationship of it that means absolutely nothing other than we're just having a little fun clipped right here and that's it. But in life we do have people that don't regard their responsibilities to the things they do. I had a person who moved into our community who I made a mistake in judgment the first time I saw them. And after that, I wanted to get to, to know them better, so I basically wanna, went up behind them as I was leaving early, passed the person my card, and said, I'd like to meet you. When we ended up meeting, I forget if I called her if she, because she gave me her card in re return, or if she called me, but when we ended up meeting, she actually ended up bringing her husband. I was a little shocked by that because I wasn't accustomed to that. A lot of women do that. You start talking to a woman, you start asking her questions, you start getting interested in her as a business or a professional like they all claim they want. And then all of a sudden they start talking to you about your, their husband you're like, I'm not hitting on you. I've made no personal indication to you that I find you the least bit remotely attractive. Because I'm a guy that is interested in a woman's mind. I was raised with a lot of girls in my family. I was raised with a, a, a mom who was smart and did a lot of things in her arts. But I also had a father that raised his girls to be smart, to be educated, and he supported every one of them, every single one, and all their children too. So it might have been imbalanced because one family might have had three kids, another family might have had only two kids. But I knew what about, about one thing about my father is that he really strived to make sure that every family received the same type of financial support with the same sort of birthday support, with the same sort of gifting. But he also did other things in the community. Every year I would watch him give money to politicians all across the nation. Every year I would help him write his checks. He would send uh, checks to people who are impoverished and different types of organizations that he carefully researched and decided that he liked and wanted to support with the way that God had blessed him. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth. And the truth is, I spent an awful lot of time invested in one person who came into my community that I made a mistake originally with who I thought they were. I made that up in every bit that I could, and I did an awful lot for that individual. I even gave that individual an incredible deal on things that she needed done for her business. My concern now is that there's some monster editing my video channel, deleting things that belong to me and sort of belong to that individual, and I can't get them back because I don't know where my hard drives are. I don't know where my things are. Someone allegedly totally looted my storage unit and I did not give anyone the permission to open my storage unit with any key that I have or any key that they would choose to choose to get out of my storage unit. You see, people violated the law in every part of my life. And when I talk about it, you don't want to believe it, but people do this. People actually drive into storage units because they have one, but then they go loot everybody else's. I'm not like that. I went to my storage unit one day to sort things out, to see what I could sell, to see what I was going to continue into my next phase of life, and I got totally pissed on by police because the woman of that particular company wanted to play in and out of what I owned. Or maybe the police officers wanted to steal shit from me. I can't say, but I've endured a hell of a lot of abuse from people that don't even know me. And when I talk about these things, I expect the people that I really invested time and energy into to regard that time and energy that I gifted them. I gave everybody who did my program the <clears throat> spirit of your company, and it used to be called Mus the, the Marketeer program, that openly I gave them the best price that I could for what I knew they could afford. Some people paid $400, but that was in the early stage of what I was doing. But as I perfected my craft, as I improved my trade, some people paid 1200 Some people paid 2000 
but it was all related to not only what they could afford, but what they needed from me, and what I knew I would have to produce for them based on the initial evaluation and client assessment or a customer survey or a client qualification process that I took people through when I met them and began to converse with them. And I occasionally would get one client out of the larger networking groups that I would go to. Sometimes I would just get good friends. But in life we have to decide who we are in this world. Are we a taker and a user? Or are we a person who likes to live in life balance with other people? 